Hi, my name is George. This is me. I'm nine years old and was born here in Spain, where I live with my wacky family. Mum, Dad, Nanny, Grandad, my sister and brother Molly and Arthur. The evil twins. Not really, but they do drive me insane. Since the pandemic started, I've been learning to cook with my dad, who has his own barbecue business. We've cooked everything on our grills. Ribs, pulled pork, chicken and veg. We even did Christmas dinner on them. And now he calls me the saucy piglet. It's really easy. In fact, it's so easy, I'm going to show you how to cook some of the best food you'll ever taste. And along the way, I'll teach you a bit of Spanish too. Porque hablo español fluido. Así que vamos, cocinemos un poco. This kid is smoking. Hello and welcome to my first ever Saucy Piglet video. But before we start, please subscribe so you'll get notified for future videos. The first thing that we're going to make is everyone's favourite, the best ribs ever. Ribs in Spanish is costillas. Costillas in English is Ribs. Before we start, we have to prepare the ribs by removing this membrane. Taking this off will help the flavour sink into the meat and less tough to eat. Next, pat the ribs with a paper towel to remove any surface moisture. This will stop the dry rub from clumping up and the meat from browning too early. Now that they are prepared, it's time to coat them in the dry rub. Product placement alert! We're using our Saucy Pig Ultimate Rib Tickler Dry Rub. You can get this rub and lots more from the Saucy Pig Facebook shop. The link is in the comments below. Make sure you get a generous and even coat on the meat. Although it's called a rub, pack the spices into the meat to make sure it doesn't clump up. When you are done, flip them over to coat the bone side. When both sides are done, turn them back over, cover them in tin foil, put them in the fridge overnight to let them marinate. Now that the ribs have been in the fridge overnight, we're going to put them in the preheated pellet grill, which is set at 110 degree centigrade or 230 Fahrenheit. Alrighty then. in there for not one, not two, but three hours! What are you doing mate? I'm smouldering. Now that the ribs have been cooking for three hours, let's take a look at them. Oh yeah, they look good. Now for the next step, we have to wrap the ribs. To do this, we get some butter on the tin foil. Then we need some brown sugar. Da, 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 da. Lots and lots of brown sugar. This is going to caramelize and make a sauce for basting the ribs later. Now, we place the ribs meat side down and sprinkle more sugar. Finally, we add a good glug of apple juice before sealing each rack in the foil. 
As the sugar and butter melts and mixes with the juice, it makes steam, which helps to cook the meat until it's nice and tender and adds lots of flavour. We got two more acts to do, so cue fast forward and play the dramatic music. since we wrapped the ribs. An hour ago, we put in some baked potatoes with <coughs> our special tasty tatties rub. Let's take a look at them, shall we? Oh yeah, they're ready. But my daddy's gonna do this bit because it's very, very hot. <laughs> Gently unwrap the ribs. You can see that the meat has started to pull away from the bone. Remove them from the foil and put them back on the grill. Make sure you save the liquid from each rack for the next and final step, which is basting. Once you've got the ribs back in the smoker, baste them every 15 minutes for the next hour. Remember, the more you baste, the more flavour goes onto the ribs. So just keep basting, just keep basting, just keep basting, and 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 basting. We've been basting them for the last hour. Let's take a look. Oh yeah, we're done. Lummel. But before we eat, we have to let them rest for ten minutes to let them to let them flavours get into the meat again. Letting the meat rest allows all the juices to be absorbed, making sure the ribs are full of flavour, moist and fall off the bone. ribs ever try it for yourself and don't forget to subscribe and tell everyone so they don't miss my next video and that's from me the saucy piglet adios amigos this kid is smoking <laughs>